Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next attack strategy video. This is the mass bowler attack strategy for Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. Uh, it's something that's really powerful right now, and uh, especially if we don't see an update on it soon, it's something that people who are Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 should definitely learn and upgrade their bowlers uh, to be able to do this, because right now it's what's working uh, even better than Valks, I think, is what most people were saying. So we're going to take a look at this and uh, have been kind of focused on Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 stuff lately on the channel. But, you know, we'll be back to the Town Hall 9 and maybe even Town Hall 8, uh, which is a big part of the channel too. So, I mean, don't uh, think we're drifting away too far because I'll get back to that at some point uh, as we get back to the recaps and stuff. So anyway, uh, just happens to be a Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 attack strategy because this is what's new and it's a cool strategy. It's something that... Uh, I've said is, well, I said that the bowler walks would be popular. Uh, I didn't envision a mass bowler attack, but I definitely see how it works because bowlers only take up six troop space, which is a huge change from the eight they used to. It really uh, facilitated this attack to happen and uh, to become popular. So anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at a few attacks and talk about what you do. Uh, the important things to think about, though, are that healers are just as important as the bowlers themselves because these bowlers do not have a lot of hit points. They are somewhat squishy, especially in a maxed out base like this that has so much DPS in it. You need those healers to do work for your bowlers. And because you have to bring the healers anyway, typically you want to start off with a queen walk because it really costs you nothing. And it's a great way to take out part of the base to funnel your bowlers in. Uh, so uh, we're looking at Hua on the first attack and he does the uh, the... Just like I'm saying, starts off with a queen walk, just a small one, no need to do a big one, uh, takes out a good part of the base, and then has the queen meet up with the bowlers and makes sure that the queen is among the bowlers, just to make sure that the healers will retarget onto them, because uh, if they're too far apart, they might just stay on the queen. So does a good job with that, and uh, what you want to bring is rages, jumps, and heal, or rages, jumps, and freezes. The rages are great because they keep the bowlers moving. Quickly, they give them more damage, and also the healers get the effect of them as everything moves through. The healers step up into it. Uh, the freezes gets that inferno off the bowlers so they can be healed back up, take some of the damage off of them, and the jump is just to direct them. Although they, they can beat through the wall on their own, but typically you want to uh, make sure you can kind of guide them where you want to go within the base. So, anyway, taking a look at this first attack, uh, Hua drops down a few minions. Important to make sure that funnel is created, and sometimes you even want to use a few bowlers to create the funnel and uh, just sacrifice them because you don't need all of them going into the base just because they're so powerful right now. So it's good to sometimes just make a little bit of a sacrifice uh, just to make sure that everything goes in because better, you know, 75% of your bowlers go in than like 10% if you do the funnel, uh, if it gets screwed up. So anyway, uh, drops down that rage for the queen walk. She's going to get pretty good value actually. Right now, pretty much all she's taking out is defenses. Uh, everything's packed in so tightly there. So the, the Rage gets great value, and uh, she'll start moving north as soon as these buildings go down. The minions also getting good value and making a pretty deep funnel. They're getting some of those buildings inside the base, actually. So that's going to definitely make sure the bowlers go the way he wants them to. So the queen goes up north here. She gets out of range of most of this point defense. And uh, right here, drops in the Valk to help with the funnel. The Golem, the Giant, and then some Wall Breakers to let everything on in. Uh, the wall breakers actually do fail, but the bowlers will just swing through the wall because the funnel is created so nicely. Right here, the queen is getting pretty close to the bowlers, so you know those healers are going to reroute, especially as the queen walks in and kind of gets among them. Went ahead and dropped that jump, didn't need it, and uh, I don't know what it was it was there for anyway, but popped the warden's ability, and at Town Hall 11, that helps you combat the eagle, the level 4 infernos, all that damage that initially comes at your bowlers as they make their way into the base. Pop the ability early, and uh, that way you have two or three seconds of your bowlers being at full health. There's the freeze, gets great value for that, and the inferno's pretty much down by the time the, free, the freeze wears off. So that way their healers will get the full effect, and because they're being raged as well, those bowlers are not dying, they're just staying at full health. Sends in a few hogs, but this one's already over. You can see those healers did a great job keeping those bowlers up. Like I said, they're, they're just as important as the bowlers, because if you drop the four healers and just bring more bowlers, you will not get pretty deep into a base. Uh, you won't get far at all because the bowlers do not have a lot of hit points. They need that heal effect. Uh, so you got to make sure that you're taking care of the Inferno Towers, whether it's with a freeze or if it's on single target, that helps out a little bit. But whatever you have to do, 
make sure you get the heal on the bowlers for most of the attack. Uh, so anyway, does a great job. You can see how many of them are left up. Has, I'd say most of his bowlers, like almost all of them almost, because uh, it's it's crazy. Pops the queen's ability right here and uh, just crushed this base. Could have beat a Town Hall 12. I mean, it's insane. So anyway, awesome attack. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few more as soon as this thing wraps up. Okay, there's the three star. And uh, we'll go on to Vietha, taking on number three here. Uh, and this one was a little closer, and it illustrates a few different points that I want to make. And uh, he goes ahead and drops down the healers on the golem, which is just fine. And I think that's something that, uh, however you do it, you want to make sure you get value for those healers at the beginning of the attack, whether you're dropping it on the initial bowlers for the funnel, or you're dropping it for the golem uh, or the queen like we saw in the last attack. Some kind of value for them because they typically will retarget. So you'll still get the main purpose of them. But also getting value at the beginning is great. Uh, right here though, he doesn't have any freezes. So the warden's ability is great. It keeps those bowlers up. But right here, they start going down pretty quickly. Because both those multi-infernos are targeting uh, almost exclusively bowlers. And because they don't have a whole lot of hit points, they go down very quickly. So even though he ran through this base pretty fast, uh, most of his bowlers are already dead. So I think bringing a freeze or maybe even attacking the base from a different angle where both those infernos aren't being dealt with at the same time would have made this a more easy three star. I mean, it was still a great attack. These are It's always hard to three star a Town Hall 11 with these maxed out defenses. But uh, if you can do something to negate the inferno towers... That's going to make a huge difference because the bullies will die very quickly if they're not being healed. So keep that in mind. Do what you have to do. Uh, but anyway, he does a few balloons too, which I think was a great touch. And I think um, a lot of the time the air defenses are somewhat close to the center of the base. You can do this because you know your bullies are going to take out the middle of the base. Uh, the only problem is trying to get them to take out those defenses on the outside that are hiding behind all those walls and stuff. So he brings a few balloons, which is a great touch here. And uh, especially when everything's distracted on like the queen and stuff, gets these like one for one trades, uh, awesome value. Uh, pops the queen's ability, still has the healers on her, so she's doing pretty well. A few minions, a, a wizard, just cr cleaning up the space slowly as the defenses go down. And uh, he'll sprinkle in this last balloon right here in just a moment. Uh, the warden's doing a great job uh, taking out buildings and giving everything that little health bu uh, buff because uh, it's actually pretty significant. Uh, the health buff the warden does when those balloons are in his radius. But anyway, they're going to make their way through. They'll take out this uh, cannon right here, and that'll be that. Awesome attack to Vieta, getting the three-star, and uh, bringing the nice touch of the balloons. Okay, we're going to take a look at, at a Town Hall 10 one, and then we'll wrap this thing up. Um, kind of, I mean, I'm not going into too much detail, because I think I want you guys to get, just get the main idea of what this attack is what the important things are to do. I don't like to overcomplicate it too much. That's something I've learned about my attack strategy videos. It's better when you try to keep it simple. And then if you guys want to go more in depth, you can kind of try it out in the friendly challenges and uh, see exactly what works. Cause it's easier for you guys to try to figure these things out to some extent than for me to kind of just to try to tell you, uh, especially when I don't have bowlers yet. So I'm only a town hall 10 with no bowlers, so I can't say I've tried this before. But anyway, I've seen a lot of attacks, and I can give you guys the basic guidelines. So we're looking at Ragnar taking on a pretty uh, solid Town Hall 10. I'd say kind of mid-level, mid to high level. Some of these defenses aren't max. But anyway, drops down that jump and uh, uses those minions to create the funnel. A few of his bowlers go to the outside, but the vast majority go in. And he doesn't need any freezes because it's single Infernos. That's huge. Uh, if you can attack even one single Inferno, that makes a big difference. Now, only one of the healers actually goes into the base. Three of them stay on those out bowlers on the outside. But that one healer made a difference for the attack. Uh, if you see right here, the bowlers actually get pretty low on health. Giant bombs, those do a ton of damage. That took out like 12 bowlers, that one giant bomb. So uh, the healer did a great job, but it got shot down. And from there, those bowlers died very fast. So that's, I can't stress this enough. Keep those bowlers healed up, whatever you have to do. And I think this might sound crazy, but we might even see people at Town Hall 10 and, 10, and Town Hall 11, if there's no uh, nerf to bowlers, we might see people putting double or even triple giant bomb sets to try to just destroy a group of bowlers. Because as you see, they're so clumped up. And if you can, I don't know how many hit points they have exactly. I'm not sure if a double giant bomb set would take them out. I think it might. 
I don't know like if they have more or less hit points than hogs, but if you can uh, just have a huge splash DPS, like wizard towers, giant bombs, maybe an inferno nearby, and uh, the person doesn't have their warden's ability or the bowlers are not quite at full health, you can take out a big group of bowlers and really mess up this attack. So that's something to think about from a base building perspective and also from an attacking perspective that, that you have to really be uh, careful regarding your bowlers' health and making sure that they're getting healed up because that's the number one important thing is healing your bowlers. And then I'd say pretty much a close second is sacrificing some troop space to make sure the funnel is created very nicely because bowlers are kind of like Valks. They'll walk to the outside if you don't funnel them right. So uh, funnel, make sure your, your bowlers are healed. And then balloons are always a great touch if the air defenses are even somewhat close to the inside of the base. You can sneak in, get a few air defenses to, uh, or a few defenses taken out with those balloons while everything's distracted on the troops inside the middle of the base. So anyway, uh, jumps, rages, heal, or jumps, <laughs> jumps, rages, freezes are all good spells. Don't bring heals. That won't help very much because uh, you already have the healers. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this attack strategy video. Let me know if you did in the comments and uh, thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.